Vipers will travel right to left across the radio in the dark blues with the yellow and red trim. The V's in their home white, so the light blue and black trim going left to right. Your first period face-off tonight brought to you by Revolution RV. Part, service, storage, and insurance. Join the Revolution with Revolution RV and Enderby. The Vipers will start with Tanaka Campbell, Cam McDonald, and Ethan Mercer up front. Donahoe and Barr will start on the blue line against Matteo Costantini recently drafted this afternoon by the Buffalo Sabres, 131st overall. The Vipers win the faceoff underway here as uh, Donahoe will stick handle the center. Again, all the teams wearing the bubbles, but here quickly come the Vs. It's Hudson down the right side. He shoots in a sliding block by Barr. Got the left leg on it before the V sniper could get a good shot away. As Donahoe's got it to zone blue line. Nice pass ahead, kicked in by Remesong. Vipers pursue the puck. Big check by Brett Fudger as he lays out his man behind the net. And the Vipers maintain possession along the wall. Wozni in the near side corner turned it over. Tanaka Campbell has a man in front. Quick shot stopped by Lane as it was Mercer off the bench with the best chance of the hockey game thus far for the Vipers. Slap pass into the slot area. Loose puck bouncing around in the circle. Now controlled by the defender Murray. Slap shot stopped by Clark. Rebound scores. Quinn Hudson with his sixth of the exhibition, standing on the doorstep. Clark got the right pad on it, and Hudson was right in front. It's a power play marker for the Vs, and they lead 1-0. Quinn Hudson mishandled the puck. The Vs, though, get it back. O'Brien working out of the corner. Sends one in front. Quick shot. Hudson stopped by Clark. Loose puck. Rebound. Hudson couldn't get his stick tied, undetached from the Vipers, but that's a big save by Clark. Brian back for Constantini. He'll hustle after it. Throws the brakes on. He's got a man in front of the net. Constantini trying to find him, blocked in front. Clark, a big save as he robs Hudson in front. Somehow that pass found Hudson bottom of the right circle. Clark able to make the save, and it's the timely saves right now with 58 seconds remaining in the period. And Clark with a couple of big ones. Cam McDonald's going to the penalty box. Uh, he's going to get a misconduct. So again, there must have been something that went undetected. Cam McDonald's gone to the dressing room. Jason McKee doesn't like it. So again, those ones don't always result in power plays, but again, you're without the services now of Cam McDonald for, I guess, till the middle of the second period about that. We're back to five on five. Bees have it. Here's Wozni in tight to the forehand. Stop by Clark. Loose puck side of the net, and Clark's helmet flies off. A stick save for the ages is Rowan Clark. Flailing with the paddle, absolutely robbing Ben Wozni, who made a great move to deke out the goaltender, but a never-quit save. That's two in as many games for Rowan Clark. Cue up the highlight reel. Paddle save. Game remains 1-0. Puck for O'Brien in behind the net. Pushed off the puck. Johnson stops up. Desmond Johnson nearly lost it. Now he did. Chance in front. Vs to the goal. They score. Turnover behind the Viper goal, and it's Devlin O'Brien putting it into the empty cage. And here in the second period, the Bees lead two to nothing. It's two on two into the zone, stops up in the slot, makes a nice pass right side. Quick shot, scores. <laughs> Finn Williams with a rocket from the right circle as the Bees get into the zone with speed. 8:02, the time of the power play goal. Here's Tanaka Campbell, room to walk in across to the goal lane. The save as he robs his man. Remesong on the far side couldn't release the pass. Here's Constantini with a steal. Drops it down low. Stopped by Clark. Oh, what a save that was. Rebound still loose as Clark made a great pad save. But he's lost his goal stick as the Vipers nearly gave up another one on a turnover. But a great save from Clark. He's got his lumber. This game remains 3-0. We're going to get another look at it here as he swats at it with a paddle. But got the toe on it. His right toe. Fantastic save. And then... A loose puck just sitting there begging to be cleared away. And now it'll be Max Balaka going the other way. Trying to get a step. Balaka stops up in the corner. Has Remesong. Remesong. Oh, he was checked by Constantini before he could rip that puck. Here's a chance for Balaka off the goal post. Oh, what a chance. Short-handed for Max Balaka, but he clanked iron. Wozniak calmly plays it ahead. Constantini, nice transition up the left wing side. He's in. He shoots. He scores. Well, Matteo Constantini showing why the Buffalo Sabres drafted him. A 
Full head of steam down the left wing and a hot shot high to the glove side. 11.01, the time of the goal here in the third period. And the Bees lead four to nothing. Couldn't squeeze around his man, but he did work the puck in deep. Pakalak there, tied up quickly. Big check by Fudger. Oh, he's going to get a penalty for that as he rubbed out Owen Murray. And the stanchion fell right out of there. They're going to call that a charge. I don't know if that's a charge. That looked like a pretty solid body check, shoulder to shoulder. They say he took some extra steps. Held on by Wozni. He'll take a wrist shot, knock down in front, feeds across. Clark, another great save as he robs his man to the near post. It was Ryan Upson who looks to the heavens. That's the third five alarm save by Rowan Clark in this hockey game. Nimbly going from far side to near side and making a great save, keeping this one four to nothing and keeping the V's power play at bay. That'll do it. Four nothing the way this one ends. As the, the Vipers ran into a hot goaltender, victims of a couple of goal posts, some good chances that didn't go, and the special teams battle not on their side as they drop a four nothing decision here in the Penticton.